Does your seat slip on your kayak? Hell, I've got a solution and it's worked for 109 hours so far this season. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. When I pedal my Jackson, I pedal hard. I really give it a push. And I found that the seat was not grabbing on the utility tracks and was slipping back as I would pedal hard. So I came up with a solution to that. And today in the email, I got a note from Brent Ditzler who pointed out another problem, which was that those rubber grommets that they use between the thumb screw and the utility track uh, end up getting crushed over time and lose their effectiveness. So I'm going to share my solution to the seat slippage and Brent's solution to the rubber washer. Boy, just got inside just in time. So here's what the seat hold down thumb screw looks like. You've got the top part, a washer, the seat bracket goes here, and then you have this rubber washer. And this is the issue that Brett discovered. And you can see how, uh, when I went to do my maintenance, mine has become totally eroded as well. And then this is my solution to the seat slippage problem. So let's talk about the washer issue first. Brent recommended going with a hose washer because they are much more durable than the softer rubber that came with the Jackson. So I'm gonna to switch to that and then I should not see this type of erosion on my washers in the future. Now let's get to the seat slippage. This is where the utility track would go. And so I've got sandpaper 120 grit above and below the utility track so it clamps down with the grit on the utility track. So basically I've got two pieces of sandpaper here that I folded over. So I cut the 120 grit, folded it over, and then I just took a simple hole punch and popped the hole in the middle. And I'll be able to work this up through that. So the way this works is you put this on your utility track, you slide it in with this on the bottom. Then when you get it to the position you want, you put this on the top of the utility track. Then I will take Brent's idea, I'll put this hose washer on, put the seat bracket on, and then follow that up with the thumb screw. Screw this down and my seat's not gonna slip anymore. It's still raining to beat the band out there, but at least my kayak's getting rinsed off. So I'd like to thank Brent for pointing out a problem I didn't even know I had. Until I took everything apart to do my maintenance, I did not know that that rubber washer down there had deteriorated so much. So with that great hose washer idea, I think I'll be good to go there. And if you're having the seat slippage problem, give the sandpaper a try. It's been working for me, and my Angler app has logged that I've been on the water 109 hours so far this season, and that seat has not slipped an inch. Final point, I think this is an idea that Steve Sharon of the Adventure Outdoors channel would have come up with if he were smart enough to own a Jackson Cusa FD. But he's a Hobie guy. Maybe Hobie seats don't slip. Anyway, throw your comments down below if you've got a better solution to prevent seats, seat slippage where your seat is sitting on a utility track. Thanks.